Hello and welcome to this uh, CI-CD pipeline uh, demo. This is continuous integration, continuous delivery pipeline that's powered by containers and all flash from pure storage. In this demo, we'll illustrate the fully functional CI-CD pipeline, again, that's built on containers and uh, shared accelerated storage from pure. We scale concurrent builds of an open source application uh, to illustrate parallels them uh, that can be delivered with all flash and also showcase the integration uh, with Jira for automated ticket creation upon uh, build failure. What you see here is a full modern CI-CD pipeline. For uh, developers, one of the first steps is how quickly I can gain access to a development environment and that's delivered through Kubernetes uh, containers so that the developers can instantly get access to their development environments. The uh, code uh, repository is uh, built on top of uh, GitLab. And uh, in this example, that repository resides on FlashBlade, but it can just as well reside on Flash Array as well. The build uh, repository and artifacts are uh, built on Artifactory Nexus. Uh, that is also uh, residing on top of uh, FlashBlade. And the build and test environment is, again, built and scaled on Kubernetes uh, containers. Kafka streams are also in use for uh, real-time uh, streaming analytics. And uh, that also works in hand uh, with Jira for automated ticket creation and for being able to uh, automatically insert the Jenkins logs uh, into a JIRA ticket. Of course, all of this, uh, this entire pipeline is, uh, is uh, being uh, orchestrated uh, through Jenkins. What you see articulated here is kind of an end-to-end -end pipeline that starts off uh, from that development environment to check, uh, check out and code to automatically triggering a build and test. Ultimately, that percolates to a committing to the uh, master, uh, which then kicks off to the master build and test. Typically, that's a separate environment. And if everything has gone successfully, uh, then organizations typically will use a uh, automated uh, rollout. Some may not, uh, but in terms of automated rollout to production, uh, AB um, deployment use cases apply there. And then the final stage of the CI-CD pipeline is really uh, SREs or Site Reliability Engineering monitoring uh, that everything in terms of that service or, and or product is uh, working successfully. Ultimately, as new enhancements are needed, the pipeline starts over again. What you see uh, displayed here is a Kubernetes uh, configuration that has been set up. The, uh, there's two uh, Kubernetes uh, master nodes they interact with the uh, pure service orchestrator, uh, which enables container storage as a service. On the back end are uh, the pure storage flash array and pure storage flash blade. The worker nodes uh, for that CI CD pipeline are the uh, container nodes that are set up. That is where the concurrent builds are scaled. And the management nodes consist of Jenkins, Jira, Artifactory, Nexus, and GitLab. Let's go ahead and dive into the demo. This is the FlashBlade console, and at the bottom you can see that uh, there isn't any bandwidth load being applied to FlashBlade yet. Now the concurrent uh, builds of the open source application are being started. Um, so as we scroll through, you can see many of those uh, builds started by uh, GitLab push. And on FlashBlade itself, you can start to see some load being applied within Kubernetes. Um, so this is the Kubernetes um, dashboard here, and you can see many of those containers are up and running. Uh, they're uh, consuming CPU and memory as well. Uh, and on FlashBlade, uh, you can see load being applied at this point. We're actually using a one gigabit ethernet link. Um, so that actual link is being saturated All right, FlashBlade is uh, certainly capable of a lot more. Uh, what you see here is uh, linear scaling of uh, flash rate uh, bandwidth 
anywhere from 10 gigabytes a second all the way up to 20 gig gigabytes per second of bandwidth, uh, varied by the number of blades that are configured in a single system. So many, many more concurrent builds can be done uh, in parallel, enabling organizations to accelerate uh, time to market and drive developer productivity. Now the, build, uh, the concurrent builds are uh, starting to be completed. So uh, you can see some of them are still up and running, but uh, others uh, have already uh, completed. This is a view in uh, Jenkins where you see a pipeline view. And uh, in this view as well, you can start to see that the, uh, some of those concurrent builds are already complete. And within the Kubernetes uh, view or Kubernetes dashboard, as and when the builds uh, complete, Kubernetes automatically uh, terminates those container pods. All right, let's look at the automated uh, Jira ticket creation upon uh, failure. So one of the builds uh, that we had kicked off is starting to actually fail. And uh, in fact, it has failed uh, within Jenkins. You can see that. Now we're within Jira and we're going to refresh Jira. Uh, automated ticket for that failed build has been created. That matches the failed build. You can see the logs, those are uh, captured through Kafka, that's part of the CI CD pipeline. All right, there you have it. A quick summary what we saw is a fully functional CI CD pipeline that's built on containers and shared accelerated storage. We also uh, demonstrated concurrent builds of open source application where those builds are powered by containers and uh, the containers are automatically uh, started and spun down uh, through uh, Kubernetes uh, in that case. Uh, and that interacts with the pure service orchestrator uh, that is delivering that container storage as a service experience. Finally, uh, we also illustrated the automated ticket creation upon a build failure where a Jira ticket is automatically created and all of the necessary Jenkins logs, Jenkins logs are uh, auto-populated inside the ticket so that the developer is notified and can instantly start to troubleshoot uh, what, if anything, may have gone wrong. Thank you.